Hello everyone, welcome to Narasia Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. In last session, we have learned how to develop custom collection for solving type problem and for solving size problem of the array object. In this session, let us try to learn internals of retrieving object from the collection. What are the example I given for a collection? Your school bag. So, in school bag, okay, before you are going to school in your house, you placed all the books in your bag and uh, now you reach your uh, school. In the school, now you are going to take the book out from the bag. The taking book out from the bag is nothing but what I told retrieving. That retrieving object from the collection operation, now we are trying to learn. Please look at here. Now, totally collection object operations are what? 7. In that, we completed 2 operations adding object and internals of adding object we develop increasing capacity to solve size problem. And next we develop what counting objects for that size method we develop. And now in this session I would like to learn retrieving object. You may ask me question sir you are skipping searching object sir how can you retrieve object sir. Yeah, searching object I do not want to discuss at this stage. If I discuss this searching object at this stage you will get lot of confusion and you will get a fear understanding collections. So, searching object operation I will discuss at end of our collection chapter till that you please hold on. Now, that I am skipping the searching object at this minute and I am going to discuss it end of the collection I am moving to the next operation retrieving object. So, for retrieving object what should I pass? I want retrieve object means object should not pass. Na? I should retrieve object means I must pass what? Index number of the object. Collection will maintain objects with index numbers right. So, look at here this a object 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, whenever you create a custom collection object totally how many uh, locations created we are creating array object with 10 locations I hope you remember previous video. Now, inside that collection object I have started storing objects first object then size 0 increased to 1, second object size increased to 2, third object size increased to 3. Uh, fourth object size increased to 4, fifth object size increased to 5, total number of objects I stored 5. So, element count variable is internally using from size method to know how many objects stored. Okay. Now, I have a question try to answer what the operation we are trying to do retrieving. Then how to retrieve? I created first collection object and added objects and I displayed system dot out dot println col. When I display col all its internal elements are displayed a, b, c, d, e. I do not want to display all the objects. I want to retrieve one of the object from the collection. Let us say I would like to retrieve and display this b object nothing but one index object I want to retrieve. So, for retrieving object from the collection you have to pass what sir index number fine. Can you tell me what the signature of the method retrieving? I hope you remember in previous chapter somewhere you might have learned for storing object in an object for storing some value inside a object we will use set method. For retrieving value from an object, we will use get method, setter methods and getter methods, two types of methods available, right. Uh, now, for storing, we have used add method. For retrieving, the method name is not retrieve, you must use method name as what? Get. Uh, get method should retrieve what object? The given index location object, that means you have to pass what, sir? Index number, that is it. So, the signature of retrieving object method is get of index. Now, I wanted to understand this statement. Now, look at here. I am going to call the method word call dot from where you want to retrieve object from collection. So, what I should write call dot get of. I want b, b available in which index? One index. I pass col dot get of one. Now, call dot get method logic should go into this collection object call inside the object array from there going to this array into one index. In the one index, whatever value available b object that object reference should return. Can you tell me get method when it returning what object? Uh, what type of object? Now, currently string object, but the coming object cannot be come as a string type as collection is heterogeneous. The internal location of what type object array. So, the returning object will be written as of what time object obj very very important point when you retrieve the object from a collection the object will not come in its original 
type it will come as of what uh, this array type array is of what type object array if we have stored this string objects inside a string array the objects will come out as a string type but you store these string objects inside object array so objects are coming out as what type not a string type it is a coming out as what type object type not as string type i hope you are catching my point so get method compulsory return type is object let me ask another question at this minute inside our collection i have stored string objects now it is a heterogeneous collection that means in future i can store integers i can store student objects i can store employee objects i can store a different type of objects if the get method return type is a string can it return as a integer objects can it return student objects can it return employee objects no that's why what is the get method return type should be super class of all classes that is what object so that any object you can store and any object we can retrieve okay let me ask another question here simple in uh, encapsulation chapter you must have learned uh, what is that setter method parameter and getter method return type should be same in what type you are storing object in the same type you have to retrieve object look at there uh, add method is what setter method you can take what is the add method parameter you are taking object you want to store any type of object then get method return type also should be what any type of object whatever is storing that will come out it is storing as object type retrieving is also what object type then down i am writing system dot out dot print ln obj from here what is the output you are expecting to get display on the console is b okay i hope you catch my point very important whenever you call get method it is returning the given index object in the format of what uh, object type then you display that is coming as b okay so now i would like to develop the logic of get method okay how to develop logic of get method so tell me what the prototype of this method look at here public you want to access throughout your project public uh, return type should be object method name is get it is accepting int index okay public object get int index inside this get method what is the logic i should write i should go into this array object retrieve the element whenever the moment you call get method control is coming here from this get method go into this array object and return that given index location reference back to this method that is the code you have to write can you please try to think returning then keyword is what sir simple one line code this method has i want to return method what the keyword i should use return you wanted to return the element from where this object array this object array holding by which variable obj array so what i should write obj array of given index that's all then it's matter how simple it is this method logic is very very simple small code what is that public object get of int index pass the index value to the variable obj array then return keyword will uh, retrieve this obj array of index reference from here it is going to array object collecting back and coming can you tell me what is coming out object copy coming or reference copy coming reference copy why index value is what one in one index what is that in index reference what is there 22 so coming out value is 22 now this obj array return keyword returns what 22 uh, from here what is coming out 22 now here obj variable background created with reference what 22 very very important point it is also pointing to the same object so now whenever you retrieve objects from the collection now that object will contain two references one is from collection and also from your local variable comfortable eh? so very important point get method will retrieve the object only from array so internally one line of code you have to write there is no big logic return obj array of index so given index location it is accessing whatever value available the object reference that it will retrieve return to our program our reference is stored in obj and finally obj also pointing to same object okay so this is a simple code i hope you got the clarity so retrieving objects from the collection is nothing but retrieving objects from the internal array for that you have to write the simple line okay already i told you in adding operation storing objects in collection is nothing but storing in object array retrieving objects from the collection is nothing but retrieving object from its internal array only so i hope you got clarity simple what you do in your nit collection class open nit collection dot java file 
after add increase capacity capacity and size methods you try to type this method public object get off int index open bracket closed bracket and write this code return obj array of index that is it simple line then save that program go to test class in a test class already you created an it collection already you have stored some elements and displayed then further after that now you write call dot get off some index number whatever you want and assign to object obj display see that that element value b is coming or not okay so that's all this is the testing of retrieving objects from the collection so internals of retrieving object from the collection is nothing but retrieving the element from the array object so what is the algorithm what is the algorithm of retrieving only one step process retrieve the object reference from given index location then return return it to caller that is it only one line ok this one line only you have to implement I hope you enjoyed understanding this get method or retrieve operations from the collection retrieving operation from retrieving object from the collection is nothing but retrieving from internal that is a one point you have to remember I have a question developing logic is not sufficient developing logic knowledge is not sufficient you should also have testing knowledge observe here col dot get off I am passing in place of 1 I have passed some 7 please try to think is it right or wrong I am passing the index number 7 is it right or wrong please try to analyze tell me the past index 7 is it now it is a passing into this get method going into obj array of index variable replace with a 7 and going to 7th index 7th index location available and the returning value is null and the null return and stored and display what null according to logic there is no exception going fine but if you carefully think and understand did I store element in the 7th location I mean say 7th index location did I store elements no no what element I have stored that element only I have to retrieve how many elements I have stored those many elements only I have to retrieve I should not retrieve elements beyond my storage capacity that means how many objects I have stored 5 only 5 I have to retrieve that means I must retrieve the elements between 0 to size minus 1 I should not retrieve up to capacity that is a wrong idea repeating once again what is the important test case you have to take care here the given index number should be in between 0 to size minus 1 means whatever the elements I have added those elements only I have to retrieve I should not allow the user to retrieve up to the capacity that is wrong thought so user may enter any number but you have to take care what is that look at here inside get method I have to develop one condition how to write condition tell me if uh, the given index is less than 0 no locations or index number is greater than or equals to size what is the size sir 5 locations and a fifth index also not allowed up to 4 only allowed if the index less than 0 or index greater than or equals to size I must throw exception saying that the given number is wrong so how to throw throw new exception handling chapter how to throw exception index object I have to create throw new exception object I have to create index out of bounds exception index out of bounds exception of double quotes double quotes plus that index number you pass that is it you have to write this if condition test case if this test case is passed then only control will come and retrieving the element from the locations what we have elements and it is returning so the important test case you have to implement in the get method you should not accept the uh, int number whatever the user is passing the given index number should be between what 0 to size minus 1 that condition you have to add so 
for before this if condition you test this get method by adding this if condition you test this method what is the output will come get of 7 you try get of 17 you try get of different different numbers you pass and verify now this is the complete logic of retrieve operation if interviewer asks the question can you explain me how the elements are retrieving from the collection what might be the internal code internals of this retrieve operation if he asked then if you explain this algorithm with the memory diagram and this with this code uh, interview feels so happy and definitely will give an opportunity to work in his company ok. So, this is the story about a retrieving the operations retrieving operation nothing but retrieving objects from collection internals. I hope you enjoyed practice if you have any doubts on this discussion you can add your comment down I will answer for that your doubts ok. So, that is all for this session in the next session we will try to understand how to replace object ok how to retrieve completed now would like to understand next how to replace object in the collection this point we will discuss in the next session. So, thanks for watching this video practice this one in your NIT collection class with this knowledge if you come to the next session replacing you will enjoy and you can answer replace operations ok. So, practice adding counting and retrieving then come to replace for enjoying and try to answer yourself the code ok. Subscribe to Nareshati channel for more videos. Thank you. See you in the next session.